Hello everybody. My name is Shannon Clements. Some call me the nomadic author. Others call me mental. Why? Because I like to think a lot. If, if, if the video is turning out slightly dark, it's because it's dark out here. In this area that I'm in. And so I'm trying to, I tried to light it up as much as I could so I can actually make this video. So hold on. Bear with me for a second. Because I got some, I got something to get off my mind. A load to get off my mind for real. And the reason why I have a load to get off my mind is for this one simple fact of the treatment that I just got at a restaurant. You know? It's sad. Because I had ate at this same restaurant. I didn't get that, that treatment. And uh, when I went in there, the last time I went in there, um, the table was clean. It was clean up under the table and everything. I didn't have to make no complaints or whatever. And so, therefore, when my, time, when my food came, everything was great. So I had no problem with leaving a nice little tip. But this time around, I had to question it. Why? For one simple fact. When I went in there, I was see. I mean, the place was packed. I said, I saw, I saw a whole little section where hardly nobody was at. So I said, can I be sitting over in that section right there? Because I saw that it was a couple of people that was sitting over there eating. But there was a lot of tables in that area. So I said, can I be sitting over there? They said, sure. I said, well, I, I made a little joke, you know what I'm saying? Because I said, well, I don't kind of like see where I could see anywhere else anyway. Because it's, the place is jumping. It's packed. She said, she laughed a little bit and said, yeah. Took me over into that section. Sat me down. I sat down. As usual, I always respect the area in which I'm about to, about to uh, eat. Because I learned a long time ago. Especially when I went to that one Chinese food place. Somewhere in Arkansas. And I told, I, mean, I think I put it on video. Where I, I had got my food. I went and sat down. It was a Chinese buffet. I went in there and grabbed some food and everything. And when I had a seat. And then somebody from another table on the other side of the restaurant went up in there. They got the coughing all over the food. And I was like, oh my gosh. I just got over the flu. But see, when I took when I had the flu the last time, that, that one time, prior, just prior, literally just prior to that, I had just got, got rid of it. Like maybe I was over it like maybe two days. The only thing I had to take was a a thing of orange juice and um, and some NyQuil got rid of it just like that no problem so as I was eating and I, it was like one of those where you was getting ready to put a fork full of you like, and you see them coughing and you like that cut catches your attention you like damn why couldn't y'all just go make that person's food? So, just make the long story short. After the, the very next day, I came back down with the, with the flu, except it was hard for me to swallow all of that stuff. I'm like, golly, man. Literally, I, I fought that for a week trying to use over-the-counter medications that that wouldn't help it at all not like it did just prior to that I was like this is part this is round two that they that is giving me and it's knocking me the fuck out so I had to break down and go to the doctor and get some shit to get it out of me <laughs> you know but then this is why I'm 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 real keen on cross-contamination because she cross-contaminated 
the fuck out of that food and got everybody and everybody up in that motherfucker eventually got sick after eating behind her. So now fast forward to to the day. Remember I had a problem earlier in my last video and then now I got this video which is at a place called Colton's Steakhouse. And put I think it's Colton's Steakhouse and Pub. And it's clean. But when I get it on like I said, I sat down, I got to looking at it. It's a piece of cheese still on the table. It's some white specks here and there. I moved the white speck. I you know so I was trying to make sure it wasn't just part of the table. I moved pushed on pushed at it and it moved. I said, you know what? Ma'am, can you please wipe this table off? And all of this the lady that came over to serve me. I said, and all of this stuff that you put on here, can you please take it away from me and bring me all new stuff? She said, sure, I'll move you to the next, move you to another table. Then she, then I went, went, went and sat, just before I sat down, I looked at the seats. It was stuff all on the seats. The table looked clean, but it was seats, so it's stuff on the seats. And so then when I looked up under the table, it's, peanut shells, all types of stuff, straws, and everything else up under the table where your feet is at. I didn't even sit down at that table. I said, I had said, man, but uh, uh, well, after I, while I, just prior to me noticing all this other stuff, I saw her, when she walked off, she went, because literally it was like maybe five steps away, and, he, and that's where her station was at, you know what I'm saying, when she threw the Silverware down, chuck this, the tray, drop the tray, all types. I'm like, now I just made you mad because I asked about, I asked you to wipe the table off because I don't want to eat in somebody else's filth. She literally got an attitude about that. Throw a temper tantrum. I kid you not, I, I hate I didn't put it on tape. I couldn't, I, I had to have one of them little spy cameras on me just so you can see exactly what it is that I go through. Because for some odd reason, people act like they don't believe me when I tell them these things. Oh man, you just being this, you just doing that. You eating somebody else's filth. Now this is not a cheap restaurant. I just spent $35 eating there. It's not a four it's not a four or five star restaurant like like where you where you gonna pay anywhere from a hundred to a thousand dollars a plate. Like Shay was the Chef Ramsey's joint where you're gonna pay a thousand dollars a plate or something. He gonna make if you go to his restaurant and he and you t call him over here and tell and show him all that stuff. I guarantee you somebody getting cussed the fuck out. Just like in his kitchen, they get cussed out for making making food that's unsatisfactory to his taste buds. He's the, yeah, I'm talking about the same chef from Hell's Kitchen. Chef Ramsey. You know, that's like going before, what's his name on uh, America's Got Talent? And you half ass doing, doing things. He, he not, I, mean, I forget what his name What his name, everybody know him. he was from Britain. Sharp, I mean, he, he got a sharp tongue. He, he cut it to you quick, too. I forget his name. He's the one that bought a $14 million house and bulldozed the whole house and built another house that cost twice as much. He said that was the house of his dreams. But that's here, neither here nor here, there. I'm talking about Coles. Why should I have to go through an attitude like that? I didn't get the attitude that last time I was here. I'm just saying. So I called. I had called this other lady over, 
I said, hey, can I get the tape, the seat? I pointed out the stuff. And I said, can I get these seats wiped? But look at this. There's stuff all on the seats. Both sides. It's stuff up all there. Can I get that swept out too? And then when she got finished wiping the, t wiping the seats off, and then she she literally swept all that stuff from up under the table and out and way back towards the uh, kitchen area or whatever. And then I had, I sat, I just before I sat down, I noticed some white stuff all over. I said, ma'am, I had to call her back over here and I pointed to the white stuff that was on the table. I said, can I get that wiped off too? She said, thank you. I have no problem with that. And I said, thank you. And so then I had to explain to her like, the lady, I had just had to, it was a, some cheese and stuff on the table. That table hadn't been wiped off. That I know of, but I had set, set my back to it. I, I, I said, I said, man, then she went, moved me to this table and then, and then went and started chucking stuff all over here like she had an attitude. Where she said, don't worry about it, I'll take care of it. All right. I guess after she had a little talk to her, she calmed down. The lady calmed her ass down a little bit. I mean, as cute as she was, I don't give a shit. Your attitude make you ugly. I, I, uh, I had to fight not to say something else. Because obviously it was something else in your mind and how you wanted to treat And it's sad that I have to go through this type of stuff. And then I got people sitting there looking at me saying I shouldn't be saying nothing. Or trying to use their religion, saying I'm trying to affect their job, so therefore I should lose my job. Well, for one, what we're dealing with is cross-contamination. For two, I don't see you sitting here eating in this type of environment and dealing with attitudes like that. You want to eat or sit off at Shea Ramsey. You selling shoes, gym shoes for a thousand bucks. And all this other good stuff. But yeah, you want to try to judge me because I want to eat in a clean environment too. I just can't afford Shea Ramsey. Actually, I probably could. If I saved up, I can go to Shea Ramsey if I wanted to. Which I plan on doing one of these days. I'm going to go to the, one of these five stars and I'm going to put it on video too. And show the difference between that five star restaurant and the restaurant in which I've been submitting complaints about. Been talking about and complaining about. Earlier it was Western Sizzler. Now here it is, it's Colton's. It makes no sense at all. Because out of that, everybody in that whole restaurant, I'm the only one that got the attitude towards them. And so when it came time for the bill, I thought long and hard about what type of tip I wanted to leave. Because normally I leave, leave a nice little tip. But I, at this point, I, just like at Western Sizzle, I almost left nothing. You know what I'm saying? only reason why I did leave a little something is because her attitude changed towards me. But it only changed because I had somebody else have a little talk. You know, I find it funny how those in who will sit there and judge me and tell me that I'm wrong, they don't eat in situations and circumstances like that themselves. Because the, the way I see it, the moment you complain about anything at some restaurant that about that goes along with exactly what I was just talking about, think back to what you were saying to me and shut up and just sit down in that field like you wanted me to do.
It don't make no sense. All right, I just wanted to uh, talk about that whole little situation scenario, you know, because that right there, I had, that's the reason why I put a, put those uh, cross contamination videos up on my Twitter, you know, because a lot of people don't know that. Just like that lady I saw at Western Sizzling, she sat there watched the waitress stack. Uh, took a tray and stacked uh, all types of dishes and everything, touching the food, all types of stuff. She sat there in front of her and literally at the very next table, next to her. I mean, this is her table. Then you had the table right here. This is where she was stacking them dishes up. And then she asked for another plate. And she said, stop what she was doing with all them dishes, left all them dishes just sitting there and walked off into the kitchen and came back holding the plate. So like this is the it's like oval plate. Her hands are all on the face of the plate like this while she having a conversation with somebody else, and then she coming out. Here you go, with a smile. I can see it in that lady's face that she said this. She just brought me a a, a plate and and probably didn't even wash her hands. But yeah, she took that plate and she went and got something to eat with it. Any germs that was on her hands was on that plate. And anything that and any germs that was on that plate went into that food that that woman ate and she ingested it. Nobody should be treated that way. I don't care what color you is. You could be blue. To And the way they, they, their whole entire mind frame should be is truthfully, you can be blue to me. As long as your cream is green, then that's beautiful. And that comes out of a, a rap song. I forget the name of the song. But it's one of the New Yorkers that made it. The hip hop, you know. But I'm just saying. Nobody should be treated that way. They shouldn't have to go through that at all. Cross contamination is a real thing, and that's the reason why I pointed out. You see this Lysol? It's supposed to be it's supposed to kill germs on contact. But it is what it is. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.